The military landscape is changing fast, and AI is at the forefront. There's no doubt about where China is headed with its military. AI-driven defense and combat systems are their future. But what is the United States doing in response? Well, a major headline just dropped that gives us a glimpse into the U.S. answer for the future of warfare. Welcome back, guys. Alfie here with another groundbreaking update from the world of AI and robotics. A humanoid robot built for war, yes, you heard that right, has just made its public debut. But surprisingly, it wasn't in a military lab or on a testing field. No, the first ever full AI robot soldier, the Phantom MK-1, debuted at a San Francisco nightclub of all places. And while it might have been spinning tracks as a DJ for the night, make no mistake, this thing is a literal war machine. The real question is, what does this mean for the future of warfare? Foundation Robotics Labs, the startup behind the Phantom MK-1, has made it clear this robot is built for military applications. Unlike most U.S. humanoid robot companies that have publicly committed to non-weaponization, Foundation believes it's essential for their robots to master military tasks to support human expansion. Their vision? AI-powered humanoid soldiers that are faster, stronger, and free from human weaknesses like fatigue, hesitation, or even a conscience. Imagine a battlefield where human limitations, tiredness, fear, and ethical hesitation simply do not exist. That's what Foundation Robotics Labs is working toward. Sankayet Pathak, the founder of Foundation Robotics Labs, made a bold statement on X saying, Defense is crucial for building and safeguarding the infrastructure necessary for making life self-sustaining. In other words, they see AI soldiers as essential for the future of humanity. But is this the beginning of a revolutionary military technology? or a dangerous step into an AI-driven arms race. Foundation Robotics Labs was founded in 2024, securing $11 million in seed funding. Its leadership includes Pathak, a former fintech entrepreneur, and Mike LeBlanc, a former US Marine who co-founded the security robotics company Cobalt AI. LeBlanc has openly stated that humanoid robots like Phantom MK1 will be critical in future warfare. Interestingly, Foundation Robotics Labs didn't start from scratch. It acquired Boardwalk Robotics, a small Florida-based company that introduced the humanoid robot Alex in 2024. The Phantom MK-1 is an evolution of Alex, designed with military applications in mind. While Alex was more focused on industrial tasks, Phantom MK-1 takes things to another level, into the battlefield. So, what exactly are we dealing with here? The Phantom MK-1 stands at 5 feet 9 inches, 1.75 meters, and weighs around 175 pounds, 80 kilograms. It has a payload capacity of 44 pounds, 20 kilograms, making it strong enough to carry equipment and potentially even weapons. Phantom MK-1's design is focused on versatility. It features advanced actuators and balance systems that allow it to navigate rough terrain and confined spaces with ease. Its sophisticated AI system powers its decision-making and coordination, enabling it to adapt to complex environments in real time. Processors, cameras, and sensors are packed into its upper torso, making it highly aware of its surroundings. This level of autonomy is what separates Phantom MK-1 from previous humanoid robots. Foundation has already released demo videos showing MK-1 performing manufacturing tasks, particularly in the beverage and glass industries. But make no mistake, the company's real goal isn't industrial labor. They're aiming for military dominance. Why did a literal war machine debut at a nightclub in San Francisco? The Phantom MK-1 was showcased at the Temple nightclub during the quarter of the Century Tech Giga Party, an event attended by some of the biggest names in the tech and VC world. While its DJ performance was pre-programmed, the event was more than just a gimmick. It was a strategic PR move. By unveiling Phantom MK1 in such a high-profile setting, Foundation Robotics Labs made a statement. AI soldiers aren't science fiction anymore. They are here, and they are being developed rapidly. The nightclub reveal ensured that the media, investors, and the general public all took notice. And guess what? It worked. This is where things get really interesting. 
China has made no secret of its plans to integrate AI into its military. From drone swarms to autonomous tanks, their advancements in AI warfare are staggering. And while the U.S. has historically been cautious about militarizing AI-driven humanoid robots, Foundation Robotics Labs is breaking that barrier. After Phantom MK1's nightclub debut, Pathak made his stance clear. China is actively developing defense robots. The U.S. must keep pace to ensure that technological capabilities continue to expand. This statement signals a potential shift in U.S. defense strategy. With China pushing forward, companies like Foundation Robotics Labs are making the case that America cannot afford to fall behind in AI-powered warfare. Foundation Robotics Labs has ambitious goals. The startup aims to ship 40 robots in 2025, ramp up to 10,000 units in 2026, reach 20,000 units by 2027, 2027 achieve over $1 billion in annual recurring revenue. That's a massive scale-up, and it raises a critical question. Will Phantom MK-1 be deployed in combat, or is it just a high-tech prototype for now? With defense contracts shifting and AI technology advancing rapidly, it may not be long before these robots see active military service. Humanoid war robots aren't new. Here are some past attempts. Boston Dynamics Petman, 2011. Developed for testing chemical protective suits for the U.S. Army, but never made it past the prototype stage. Atlas, 2013 to present. Originally funded by DARPA for disaster response, but later shifted to industrial applications. Russia's Feed Ore, 2016. A humanoid robot designed for space missions, but Russian officials suggested it could also serve in combat. But Phantom MK-1 is different. It's the first full AI-powered humanoid explicitly designed for military use in the U.S. That distinction alone makes it a game-changer. Not everyone is on board with this development. Critics argue that creating humanoid AI soldiers opens the door to ethical dilemmas. What happens if AI soldiers are hacked or go rogue? Should we be replacing human soldiers with machines that lack morality and conscience? Are we entering a new AI-driven arms race that could spiral out of control? Even within the tech industry, attitudes toward defense contracts are shifting. Giants like Meta, OpenAI, and Google, which once distanced themselves from military applications, are now reconsidering their positions. Could we see more companies following Foundation's path into AI-powered defense? The debut of the Phantom MK1 marks a turning point. It's no longer a question of if AI soldiers will be part of future warfare. It's a question of when and how. With China aggressively developing its own military robots, and companies like Foundation Robotics Labs pushing the boundaries in the U.S., we are witnessing the dawn of AI-driven warfare. Will the Phantom MK-1 become the first of many AI soldiers patrolling battlefields in the near future? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain. The AI arms race is heating up and the world is watching. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned as we continue to cover the rapid rise of AI-powered war machines.